Hi everybody, my name is Lebu and welcome back to another insert about myself where I'll be including you in my life. So this is a travel vlog. I am in Cape Town. I haven't been to Cape Town in so long. And honestly, I haven't really experienced Cape Town the way I'd like to experience it because every time I came here, I was with my family. Guys, I've probably been to Robben Island six times and to Table Mountain like nine times. And you know, I've always been going to places I would always go to like all the time, you know, so I'm by myself. Well, I'm not by myself, but yeah, um, you guys get what I mean. So I'm kind of just going to do stuff that I want to do. And the sucky part is I can't even do like everything I want to do. Like I wanted to do long streets, you know, and like experience Cape Town the way I'd like to but because of the virus I can't really do that as well but I'm gonna try two things that I would want to do and I'm also gonna try and make this vlog um about affordable things to do in Cape Town because I mean Cape Town is known for like being expensive you know and bougie and lani like I mean it is a different country you know but yeah, I'm going to try and make it about affordable things to do this side. So yeah, um, it is a Friday. The weather is amazing. And I'm going to show you guys the room also. But the weather is amazing. Apparently the weather in Joburg really isn't the greatest. This is probably the longest intro I've ever done <laughs> on this channel. But yeah, guys, um, I'm excited about the vlog. I hope you guys are too and i'm looking forward to the content so yeah let me show you guys the room okay. <clears throat> so as you enter there's a little table there and a lamp and then there's a little couch here a cozy couch for two people or one person and there's a coffee table and then it's the kitchen ne? so there's these chairs i love this i love it so much and then there's the table where we can sit and eat breakfast or dinner or whatever there's a fridge a nicely sized fridge that already has some of our groceries inside there's a bread bin which already has our bread inside it and then there is a washing machine there's cupboards, there's pots and stuff in here, like our glasses, the pots and the pans. And then there's a gas stove and an electric um, oven, a cutlery, there's two things which I like. And then there's a microwave, there's a toaster, a kettle, another kettle. And then they gave us sugar, tea and coffee. And then that's a lamp for if there's like load shedding. Then we can use that lamp. A dustbin. <laughs> and if I showed you guys a dustbin. And then this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> and then that's the bed. Okay like so as you guys can see it's such a cozy place you know it's like a bachelor pad sort of and then they give us a fan that is the view look at that view guys i love it i love it and then there's wardrobes there's a little bench thing here and then there's the bathroom which has the toilet the sink or basin and a spacious shower and that is it for the place guys it's really nice and i will link the um place in the description 
um i also wanted to let you guys know that we did drive here um i really am a person who is for like scenery you know like views and stuff like that so we did drive here and oh my gosh i recommend 10 out of 10 you know but the, the, it's so long the drive is so long that's why we're flying back but yeah i just wanted to experience that you know like look at the scenery like properly like the views and the sunset was so amazing i'm gonna insert like videos here um of some of the, the footage that i captured but yeah guys i really do recommend it especially like if you're traveling like with your partner you know you really do get to bond and like spend time with them you know get to actually figure out if you guys like each other or not as people <laughs> but yeah like it's really refreshing you know um so if you can do that i definitely recommend and i guess i'll see you guys later when i'm making dinner okay so it's just after 8 p.m um showed you guys the little view of what outside looks like and i'm about to make supper so i was thinking of just making burgers with like roasted veggies on the side so yeah just a quick simple meal so that's what we're gonna have for dinner and i'll show you guys like clips but i feel like everyone knows how to make burgers so yeah everybody it is a brand new day it's the next day and the weather is so amazing it's so sunny and warm in cape town and i'm so surprised because you know cape town weather um but anyway so today we are on our way to two vineyards we're gonna go wine tasting and yeah okay i've actually been wine tasting before um but I don't think I've been wine tasting in South Africa, so I'm excited. And I mean, Cape Town is known for their wine, right? So we're gonna go wine tasting, and we decided to go to two places. So I'm gonna bring you guys along, and 
I'll show you guys my outfit of the day just now. Oh yeah, and we did have breakfast. Like we decided to stay in late. So we actually decided that every morning we're going to stay in late. And we're going to sleep late. You know, just because we are still on vacation, you know. In as much as we have to still go sightseeing and do things. But we're still on holidays. So yeah, um, it is one right now so it's pretty late and we're starting our day now only but let me show you guys my outfit so i'm just wearing this top that i got from sheen you guys probably saw it in my haul and i'm wearing these denims that i got from factory and these shoes that i got from h&m and this bag that i got from uh colette yeah so that's my outfit of the day. How do you feel about it? It smells very light. It's a 2019 coming out lunch, so the grapes from this wine go further up on the farm. The weather conditions there are not as great as um, that first glass of wine that you had, where the grapes are going down there. Mm -hmm. Because up the mountain, there is more um, harsh winds, and also the sun only reaches that part of the farm at about 10 or 11 in the morning. So because it's getting intense wind and less sunlight, the grapes are actually smaller with thicker skin. Um, and also what's kind of interesting about this bottle of wine is that because the wind is stronger up there, there's actually um, salt that is sticking to the grape skin, so you might pick up some salty flavors in this wine. The lighting here is giving me life. Second last thing. It's actually so much better than the first glass. It's not too harsh. There's a bit of acidity in it. Um, it's not too sweet. There's a pinch of salt in it, like she did mention. I actually really like it. I like this one.
Oh, this is the best one you said. Yeah, the 2019 one. Oh, the 2019 one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you want to get a feel of that, it's uh, so similar. It's not the same. It's similar. But obviously, the best one is that 2019 one. So it's 7.5. The reason why I'm saying if you want to get the feel of the 2019 one, it's the same block, meaning same area where it was planted. Right, they put it. So this is the first loss. Apparently, this is like the best wine in the world. Yes, in the world. So this is the 2020 version. There's also a 2019 version. Like, yes, I get all. The 2019 version apparently is like the best one. I don't like it. The color is dark with this. Yeah, it's a little darker. Yeah, no green color. The first one was in the tank. This one was in the bottle. Mm -hmm. This tomato, you, you, you end it's up not a boomerang. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Pinotard. So, Pinotard is the one that is unique to South Africa. Mm -hmm. So, they took a Pinot Noir and a Hermitage. Mm -hmm. That is why they say Pinotard. Mm -hmm. So, Pinot for Pinot Noir, Tart for Hermitage. It was grafted together. It's a hybrid. Wow. It was done in 1925. It's still in March. Mm -hmm. what's, what's your personal favorite? Finally having red wine. Mm, I love red wine. Yeah, like red wine is just amazing. It's actually not bad. <laughs> sweet one. Is this the sweet one? That's a sweet one. The last one. Okay. You didn't even pour. <laughs> so this one is 90% alcohol. Nice, so this is the last glass. Ooh, that's too sweet. You know when they like wine is too sweet? That's too sweet. So this is sweet wine. I just don't know which one it is. Okay, Ruby. The Cape Ruby 2018. It's really good, but it's like really sweet, but it's really good. My favorite wine is the Robertson. <laughs> at the Yonker Hayes eatery where we're gonna be having our dinner and yeah it's really cute it's really cozy we'll be just deciding on what we're gonna have so yeah I guess we'll show you guys what we have when we decide <laughs> Made to the body, so the food is coming before he's here. Looks so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dear. so cold they had to give me a blanket because wow I have no blood guys I have to do like for real It is the next day. I really couldn't shoot an outro for yesterday because things got hectic real quick, like real quick. But um, yeah, it is a brand new day. Just had breakfast and today we're going to go to a strawberry farm that is in, is it in Stellenbosch? 
I don't even know like where it is but it's really far away it's like an hour away from where we're at so we're gonna leave because they close at four and we want to make it on time and yeah hopefully it's fun I've actually never been strawberry picking before um but yeah I'm really looking forward to remind the mess in the back I just wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day so this is like a two-piece type thing that i got from some instagram boutique i forgot the name of it but i will link it well i'll write it somewhere when i remember it and then i'm wearing sneakers guys like that my boyfriend got me for my birthday and yeah and that's my all today just got to the strawberry farm not too long ago here are our buckets and we're gonna fill them with strawberries I'm excited it's so hot though like it's super super hot but I'm looking forward to it you gotta leave somebody it's over it's over most of the things I don't want to say I won't be around You'll try to come back when you fail. I always wanted you, but it's that You got something real, not bad. You want to get with me, stop. Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded. Most of these things I don't want to say. I'm about to prep supper. We have beef stew, and I'm gonna add this in the beef stew. You know, because I didn't want to buy like ingredients and then leave them here. Now it's a bit rice and corn. So that's what we're gonna have for supper today. These for what? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around the same as being stuck. That's that shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the ink in, getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing. Hi everybody. Oh. We didn't shoot any content yesterday because we just had a chill day um and yeah i mean it was the 21st of december and there was just a lot happening in the world in general so i really didn't want to risk going out but it's a brand new day we're gonna go to vna waterfront and we're gonna have dinner and then we're going on a champagne sunset boat cruise at seven so i'm pretty excited about that we're actually supposed to go paddle with penguins but the host um cancelled on us because of the wind and he played himself because today's weather is so beautiful but anyway so that's where we're going where we're headed at and yeah i'm excited so let's go the outfit of the day is this bucket hat that i got from thesis in dk yeah, in deep cliff and then i got this top that you guys saw from zara i got these i think i got them from factory and those shoes that i got myself for my birthday so ooctd <laughs> Did you not die? Tell me not to say another lie. Lie to me. Not to play with you and I. I thought somebody like you was hard. I ain't put a guard off of my eye. Niggas watching, they've been. 
Unfortunately, when we got back, there was no electricity, but thank God it's back. Like, we literally sat for, like, 15 minutes without electricity, so it wasn't too bad. But, yeah, today was such an amazing day. There was a moment where I got, like, seasick. Like, I was feeling a bit nauseous, but nothing happened. And then when we were going back um then the ride wasn't as bumpy so I was okay but all in all like it was beautiful it was amazing the sunset was so amazing couldn't really capture the sunset because we were not feeling okay like listen that it was so bumpy even though like the boats were stagnant at that point but we couldn't stand up and take footage because it was bad but yeah, like it was really beautiful. At least we got to witness it. That's all that matters. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this day. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this is what we're having for supper. And yeah, calling it a night. Hey, everybody. It is a brand new day. The day after uh the last time you guys saw me and we had to cancel our plans for today because the weather was like nah guys i'm gonna be like typical cape town and just you know do 
a 180 on you guys so um we're just gonna go out for dinner this is our last night here unfortunately so we're just gonna go out for dinner and i guess those are our plans for today so yeah my outfit is this top and these pants guys don't like please excuse the mess in the background eh? we packing and then i don't know if you guys can see my air forces so that's the outfit and then i'm gonna have a jacket because it's cold but i guess i'll see you guys when we're at dinner bag i'm just really exhausted but i just wanted to end off my vlog right here i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you got some ideas on what you can do when you decide to go to cape town and yeah guys i guess i will see you in the next one please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and that's it from me bye